We have reached the end of our Zack Track journey together. All we have left to do is give the console control of the system. Then you'll be ready to program your show. To that end, there are a couple last tidbits I want to leave you with. Relinquishing control from the Zack Track live settings over to the console can be done in two easy steps. In the live view of Zack Track, you will see three vertical dots just to the right of the Actor Groups tab. And again, for the Fixture Groups tab, click on the one next to Actor Groups and you'll see a button saying, Set All to the Console. This will release all the settings within each tag to the console's control. You will get a pop-up asking for confirmation. Press OK. We will then tap on the three dots next to the Fixture Groups tab and click Set All to Console. Confirm the pop-up once again. This is all we need to do in ZackTrek. The console now has control. We've already looked at patching the various Zack Track profiles into your console and where to gain access to their attributes. From here, the control is up to you. Zack Track is like any other fixture in your lighting desk. It is a tool used to paint the picture on stage. Keeping yourself organized in process is key to any programming. Here are a few examples of tools you can use to make this happen. For reference, this video is using Granime 3 software but you can easily take these same principles and apply them to the lighting software of your choice. First are groups. Groups for trackers and groups for fixtures will speed up your programming process. Keeping fixtures in groups you may need to quickly reference, such as key light or backlight, is a great place to start. Presets or palettes will also help smooth the programming process. Here we have presets for each tracker assignment for the fixtures. So we can easily say key light at tracker 3. No need to memorize fixture numbers or toggle through the attributes. We can quickly send the lights to a tracker with a couple taps on the screen. Create presets for any Zack Trek information you want to use in your show, whether that is speed presets, transition time, tracking mode, or anything else. Having all this information in presets will allow you to spend more time painting the picture on stage and less time clicking through the console. Another potentially useful item is to make some quick override playbacks that can use in case of emergency. For example, you can make a toggle button that temporarily disables all trackers, or temporarily removes the tracker assignment from all fixtures, or temporarily forces the crossfade control all the way to the console, in case you need to guarantee console control of your fixtures. These are just a couple quick tips to get the console in control of Zack Track. Now it is time to light your stage and track the world.